For more than 40 years, Wheelabrator has called Saugus home. While Wheelabrator is the largest taxpayer in Saugus, we have worked to be more than a local business. We have worked hard to become part of the Saugus community. We have maintained a nature trail and wildlife sanctuary. Uh, it's a beautiful spot, uh, kind of unique here in the, the greater Boston area. You know, a unique environment, a beautiful place to spend you know, a day, half a day. Provided smart boards and Chromebooks for many classrooms in the Saugus schools. Used our land to make a driving range for the Saugus High golf team. About 10 years ago, Willow Breda, uh came to us and said that they had a, a parcel land we could use for a, uh, a driving range and a place that's safe for them, environmentally safe, and just a, a protected area where they wouldn't be bothered by different distractions. It's been just been a great partnership with Wheel of Raider. Wheel of Raider looks to help the community in any way we can. We do this because Saugus is our community too. After 40 great years, the time has come to discuss the future of our operations and how best Wheel of Raider and Saugus can continue working together. Wheelabrator is an important economic engine to the town and region. We are Saugus' largest taxpayer. Our operation generates nearly $30 million in regional economic activity every year and 130 good jobs. At Wheelabrator Saugus, we try to do our part to enhance the entire community. We are honored to provide an additional $200,000 a year in charitable contributions to schools and other causes in Saugus. Saugus Business Education Collaborative, Saugus Business Partnership, Saugus Babe Ruth, the Ballard Childhood Center, Waybright Elementary School, and local civic groups, among many others. The, the importance of a relationship with Wheel Abrader going forward is invaluable. Um, as a, just for the technology, just for the technology investment alone, um, it, it's been a great benefit. But the human factor in there visiting the schools and helping us out is, is key as well. So our field day was the best field day that uh, we've had, according to the people that were here before me, but said it was awesome. And um, I think there was 25 or 30 staff members from Wheel Abrader that came and helped out with our, our sack races, our activities, our games. The Saugus Business Education Collaborative provides educational and enrichment opportunities to the Saugus schools. Our success has counted on the support of many organizations, but none has supported us more than Willibrator has over these last 20 years. My name is Danielle Ferreira, and I have lived in the Saugus community for over 20 years. I have two kids who are in the Saugus school systems, and I'm also a volunteer there. I have had the privilege of meeting Willibrator through the different educational enrichment programs that they have brought to the school, as well as recreational events. Um, I really look forward to the continuing partnership with Willow Breda in the future. At Wheeler Breda Saugus, we have worked hard to be a good neighbor and good steward of the environment. We are, first and foremost, an environmental company. Wheeler Breda invested $17 million to isolate previously uncontrolled waste dumped by former property owners from about 1950 to 1975 as part of the largest remediation project in the history of the Rumney Marshes. This environmental work is in stark contrast to other nearby uncontrolled waste sites that are neither owned nor operated by Wheelabrator that continue to pose environmental hazards in Saugus. Wheelabrator invested an additional $3 million to create and maintain a 340-acre Bear Creek Wildlife Sanctuary. The Bear Creek Wildlife Sanctuary is a wildlife refuge that is home to 17,000 trees, 200 migratory bird species, 10 beehives, and nine ecosystems. We host school field trips and bird walks for naturalists, birding enthusiasts, and other members of the community. The Bear Creek site is certified by the Wildlife Habitat Council and is designed to operate in concert with our Energy from Waste Facility and active ash monofill operations. These facilities coordinate efforts to implement 10 different wildlife management plans to provide wildlife habitat and ecological and environmental educational opportunities for Saugus and the surrounding communities. Oh my God, what is that big group? What's the starlings? That's the starlings I've been asking you about. All the missing ones. So that's when it's really fun to be here and 
like in December and January. It's like it's happening. The sanctuary's success is a testament to Wheel of Raiders' proactive management of this diverse site. We engage in active management practices to create the key habitat signatures migratory birds look for from above, including the tones and textural features specific to each habitat. Without the active management that comes with our operations, these targeted bird species simply would not be here. Wheelabrator provides innovative solutions to our customers' waste needs while delivering clean, renewable power to local communities, including our home community of Saugus. With your waste, we create reliable, sustainable sources of local, low-carbon energy up to 37 megawatts, enough to power 38,000 homes, powering streetlights and schools, boardrooms and ball fields, homes and hospitals. The energy from waste process creates a local energy ecosystem in which local residents and businesses supply the fuel for the power they use. Our sound operating practices are in compliance with strict state and federal regulations, providing an efficient way to manage your waste, provide you with renewable energy, and preserve our natural landscape for generations to come. As we process your post-recycled waste in our energy from waste facility, we reduce waste volumes by 90%. We recover and recycle about 6,000 tons of ferrous metals. The remaining ash is disposed of at our Saugus Monofill, which features an approved environmental protection system and which consistently operates in accordance with our permits and regulatory standards. The active area of the landfill, the area receiving ash, is typically less than one acre. Other unvegetated areas are compacted soil cover. Stormwater, which falls on these areas, is directed to an infiltration pond and ultimately is conveyed back to the plant for use in the renewable energy process. This ash, when placed, is similar to wet concrete and does not become airborne or stray from the site. The ash is regularly tested using the EPA's methods in state-certified independent laboratories. The results of these tests consistently tell us one thing. The ash from our facility is non-toxic and safe for disposal. Everything we do is designed to protect public health, the environment, and you. By contrast, adjacent to the Wheelabrator monofill and predating Wheelabrator's engagement in the community is the abandoned Dewey Daggett landfill. Unlike the adjacent Wheelabrator Saugus landfill, which features environmental controls such as a cap, clay soil barrier wall and leachate collection system, there are no environmental controls at the Daggett landfill. Wheelabrator has supported the Mass DEP on the remedial investigation and design of environmental controls for this uncontrolled, abandoned landfill. Wheelabrator continues to be accessible to the public and eager to engage with community officials and stakeholders. We continue to host tours of our facility and wildlife sanctuary, including a detailed education session on how our operations work. Here at the Saugus Landfill, the environmental protection features have been designed and constructed in accordance with a strict regulatory process. Below our feet, a clay soil barrier wall isolates groundwater from the inside of the landfill, from the natural environment to the outside of the landfill. As we look up the slope, we can see where waste has been placed. This waste is isolated from the environment by a capping system, which includes a flexible membrane liner. About halfway up the slope, you see a stormwater channel, which collects stormwater from the cap and directs it to a stormwater sedimentation feature, which we'll see shortly. If we look down the road, we can see the brown pipes, which represent the path of the leachate collection system. Groundwater inside the wall is collected and pumped back to our plant, where it's used in the renewable energy process. These pipes are wells, piezometers. They're used to measure the level of groundwater inside and outside the barrier wall. The barrier wall runs underground between them. And it's the measurements from these piezometers that allow us to demonstrate that our systems, the capping on the closed areas, the leachate collection system, are functioning properly and are in compliance. These environmental controls have undergone rigorous review by the Massachusetts DEP and provide the level of environmental protection required by DEP's regulations and standards. Mm -hmm. 
Now is the time for a discussion of the future life and management of Wheelabrator Saugus, along with continued local revitalization that will provide significant community economic benefits and investments, including revenue sharing as part of a host community agreement. We are always open to engaging in conversations and answering your questions. Saugus is an historic and vibrant community, and Wheelabrator is dedicated to both preserving it and continuing to be a driver for improving the environment and economy of such a great region. At Wheelabrator, we are proud of our service and active community engagement as a good neighbor over the last 40 years. We look forward to serving the regional community for years to come. We appreciate the recognition for our efforts to be a good neighbor in Saugus and the surrounding communities for 40 years. Let's work together to move the conversation forward and to make our home, Saugus, an even better place to live, work, and raise a family. <laughs>